This is All India Radio, Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Questioning of the Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar continued at the Central Bureau of Investigation CBI office in Shillong yesterday. The Kolkata Police Commissioner is being questioned by a team of CBI officials comprising SP Jagroop Sinha, PK Kalyan, Partha Mukherjee and DSP T. Bardhan. He is being questioned in connection with the Sarada Chit Fund scam case. Another accused in the scam, former Rajya Sabha MP and Trinamool Congress leader Kunal Ghosh, also appeared for questioning at the CBI office. Earlier in 2013, a special investigation team headed by Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar had arrested Kunal Ghosh. Later, Ghosh was released on bail. The Nagaland government yesterday appealed to civil society organizations to reconsider the 10-hour statewide shutdown today in protest against the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2016. Chief Secretary Tim Jem Toy said the government will propose the adoption of a resolution to oppose the Citizenship Amendment Bill in the forthcoming budget session. Chief Minister Nafu Rio has said that the state government, which represents the will and desire of the people, remains opposed to the bill. The government also promised that it would leave no stone unturned to constantly protect the rights and privileges of the people. The bill seeks to provide Indian citizenship to persecuted Hindus, Jains, Christians, Sikhs, Buddhists and Parsis from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan after six years of residence in India even if they do not possess any document. Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a public meeting at Chamsadi in Assam on Saturday assured the people of the Northeast that the bill will in no way cause harm to their interests. A vision screening program in remote areas of Mizoram has benefited a large number of children from underprivileged background and plan is afoot to expand the program. The Indian Vision Institute, IVI, in collaboration with a major eyeglass maker, has also distributed free spectacles to several children. The vision screening program has worked to provide coverage to underprivileged children in Sirchit and Lumley districts. Some 450 children found to have refractive errors in the districts are being provided free spectacles. The IVI is a not-for-profit registered trust focused on supporting and promoting eye health awareness and prevention of eye disease and blindness. Arun Prabha, the 24th Doordarshan satellite channel inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Itanagar on Saturday, will be linked to Airtel and Dished TV platforms. The channel, presently available via Doordarshan's DTH service, was launched exclusively for the northeastern states. Doordarshan Director General Supriya Sahu said, Arun Prabha, once linked to Airtel and Dish TV, will give global viewers an opportunity to learn about the diverse culture of northeast India. The four-day biggest annual religious convention in Tura, the 145th ABDK Soba, Organized by Garo Baptist Convention concluded yesterday. Lakhs of Christian devotees from all over Garo Hills and delegates from other parts of the country and abroad attended the worship service at the PA Sangma Stadium. The theme of worship was Choose Life. Reverend Christian A. Benjamin, National Director of the Far East Broadcasting Associate, was the main speaker. He preached on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ from the Gospel and the importance of Christian values and transformation of lives. Mikhalia Chief Minister Conrad Sangma thanked the people and different government departments for beautifying Tura for the glory of God. He also appealed to the citizens to take active part in the same spirit in the coming national games to be hosted in Meghalaya. The 83rd Senior National Badminton Championships will start in Guwahati from tomorrow. The city had last hosted the championship in 2010. Top Indian shuttlers like P.V. Sindhu and Saina Nehwal will be the biggest attractions. Badminton Association of India President Himanta Biswa Sarma said that the goal has been to take the sports to all parts of the country so that sports enthusiasts can watch the stars and icons of the game play live in action. And with that, we in the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.